be like me saying, y'all go over there, play Call of Duty. And I'm saying, bro, the only reason that you're enjoying, enjoying Call of Duty is because you're ass. Because if you were any good at it, you would be locked into these sweat room, back, back alley, sweaty, super sweaty, uh, fight to the death lobbies like me and Bruda. And we just be over there not having no fun at all. We have to, I, I got to get my wife to play the game with me so I can get in a lobby to where I can have some enjoyment. Now, I can still be successful in those other lobbies, but it's not enjoyable. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Okay, man, man, check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, last last night's video, we did it at midday yesterday. 6.3 thousand views, man. Y'all boys are the absolute greatest. 10% impression click-through rate, man. Look, y'all watch that joint for nine minutes, bro. Hey, and 143 comments, man. That lets me know y'all ready to go with me. To the moon! Honest, man, listen, check it out. And because of that, we got to put y'all there to know the game Wall of Fame, man. Anybody come through and say anything, man. He said, thanks for giving me a video to eat lunch on, man. Hey, man, anytime, my G. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, those animations are weird this year. They are gym stars. Yo, know the gang in the building. They said, love the content. Keep up the grind, bro. Top comment from yesterday was from, uh, was from, La Marty, La Marty, my, Marty, my, oh, Marty, my, he said, hey, one of Mike Wong's, one of Mike Wong's efforts to keep the three-point percentages down is having you to, having you not take threes at all. Hm. Half of, half of my attempts trying to shoot a three-point shot are literally a two, or are literally a two-foot or, or two inside the two. There's a foot or two inside the two, man. He said, last year they fixed it where it moves you behind the three-point line. This year, um, they broke that where it literally moves you in front of the three-point line, the three-point line no matter how much or how hard you try sometimes you're right about that man because some of my jump shots i actually uh this year you actually had to go in there and find jump shots that don't move you in front of the line because a lot of times those jump shots will move you in front of the line and then you'll just be shooting um you'll be shooting shots that they were supposed they were meant to be threes but they will be twos man but listen thank y'all for hitting that like button Thank y'all for hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, we try to get to 200 likes before we get to 1,500 views so we can get that Call of Duty. We're going to be playing that Call of Duty today, man. But without it out of the way, yeah, well, that's because that's where all of it started. And when I say all of it started, I mean, yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all want that Call of Duty this evening? We will be streaming on Twitch this evening. All of that stuff, man. Make sure y'all tune in to the stream. It will be on Twitch. If y'all if y'all get enough likes, we can get like 500 likes before I start streaming this evening, like 5 o'clock or something like that. Then we'll stream on we'll stream on uh, YouTube, man. That'll let me know that y'all really want us to. But anyway, speaking of hating, look, hey, that boy, what's the name? Silly, man. He said, hey, NBA legend, uh, Hall of Famer, Scottie Pippen is in the house tonight for the Hawks, uh, you know, the Hawks and Magic in Mexico City. Hey, Donward said, dude, just looking for, <laughs> looking around trying to find somebody to hate on. Bro, hey, he said, hey, 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 hey. And that's fitting for the 2K community, man, because the 2K community, it's all, it seems like, so you see somebody having fun, it's like it's like some, pe some people get on Twitter and just be like, who can I hate on today? I'll hate on him. Oh, he looks like he's having fun. I think I'll hate on him. Oh. A guard having fun? I'm gonna hate on here. Like that seems like that's what everybody do, man. Like like they ain't got nothing better to do. Cause I hardly watch Twitter, and I know like if I'm not into something, I really don't be into it. But I'm into this, and I gotta make y'all into it, man. Speaking of being uh, being into stuff, man, I had to do say with the uh, I can feel it coming in the air tonight, bro. Said me getting my take after going one for seven, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't it feel like that? It feel like you get to take out the goal one for seven. People be asking me, bro, how would he got take? But I'll be a center and I'll get uh, I'll get a couple of blocks and stuff like that, so I can get my take while other people might not be able to get theirs. But you know, you got you better put on that sponge and get something else, man. It is what it is. Speaking of 2K being broken though, hey, that boy iPod King Carter says 2K literally said that the subways are down for repairs. LOL. Hey, listen, man, I can't even get mad at. He got the uh, you know, he out there. He tried to walk into the subway and the subway says uh. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I guess I don't know. I don't know what he's supposed to do with this, man. Hey, he's just stuck in there, man. He said, I'm stuck in here and I can't get out. Hey, I'm, hey better than falling that you can't get up. Hey, my boy, Joey, this is something my boy, uh, man, man, grind hard posting, man. He just says, hey, time to read about the plucks and the steals. Just hear me out. And I, I agree with a lot of what he's saying right here because this is something that I say all the time. I've gone against dudes who can't time a jump shot, can't create their own shot, can't pass the ball to open teammates, can't play defense because I score on them every time. 
but you mean to tell me that 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 same guy who can't do anything right uh can rip me five times five times in a game uh because he has an 85 steal you mean to tell me the guy who sucks at everything else is somehow uh good at getting steals interesting uh for the love of god nerf steals man like i said i don't think they got a nerf steals he's just got enough situations uh in which you can get one which was my boy, boy man man grind man man grind the f hard he said man still should be tied to body up uh body ups and defensive positioning none of this matters in 2k you just need the rating and i absolutely agree with that man like you should have to have body ups and stuff uh i want to say it was 2k 21 you couldn't get many steals but if you hit if you get if you did get a good body up animation you could you could get a steal um you could get the steal when you hit the uh well you can you might not get a steal but you get a good cutoff animation you get a body up animation they keep trying to go you hit the steal button it will give you a great cutoff animation and then you could do that but you can only get you can really steal the ball but you could get those good body up animations and uh stuff like that by hitting it man so hey it is what it is hey we're gonna go on over here to what we were talking about though man hey man say hey man look they were talking about black cobra yesterday man and some people you know uh they still didn't want to let it go like i said bro it's just like if somebody's not interested in what you're doing or what you're saying i, I just say just let that man rock leave him alone do your thing um it's just like and, and we'll talk about this in a second but it's in reference to call of duty it would be like me saying the only reason that y'all like he's enjoying the game playing it his way doing his thing and it would be like me saying y'all go over there play call of duty and i'm saying bro the only reason that you're enjoying enjoying call of duty is because you're ass because if you were any good at it you would be locked into these sweat room back back alley sweaty super sweaty uh fight to the death lobbies like me and brood are and we just be over there not having no fun at all we have to I, I gotta get my wife to play the game with me so i can get in a lobby to where i can have some enjoyment now i can still be successful in those other lobbies but it's not enjoyable it's not but i'm not i'm not sitting here telling nobody that so it's about the same thing as people trying to tell us about uh about this but anyway he said hey man some people are just low-key salty that the bag ain't as deep as cobra like to be honest i've never seen so much hate from pete from a guy who clearly knows what he's doing uh self-appointed comp funny as heck man he right about that and then that boy down work says uh they just tightened that, that that the confines that they play within uh allow for very little creativity and that's true he's not even hating on him he's just saying he just allows for very little creativity you have to try to win the game with every move because everybody in there is so good uh a little creativity and enjoyment in the game so when the, when they say uh when they see people having fun uh playing how they want to play and getting support they get in their feelings and want to try to downplay what someone else is doing in an attempt to uplift what they do. It's basic hater stuff. Yeah, exactly what it is, man. That's all it is. And that's what I was saying yesterday. I, that's the only thing I can get from it. Like, why would you want to play somebody that doesn't want to play you? Like, I don't understand. Like, why you want to play him and say that, that what he's doing is trash instead of saying, hey, man, listen, uh, you know, do you think you want to try to play up, play with us? And like this, like 2K community is like that. Everybody else try to come up with each other. 2K community want to try to come up off somebody. So it's like, but even if they did that, they probably likely just trying to be trying to make him seem like he can't do it in there and embarrass me. It's always you can't never uh, guess what people are trying to do, man. Like I said, I just be want to run. I will run with anybody. I just want to play. It, it doesn't matter to me about being good. I've been good at so much stuff in my life that this right here is minuscule. And he just said, hey, y'all got to look at yourself as a, so this is somebody says that y'all got to look at yourself as a brand. We, we're in a phase where the big discussion is can sim basketball overshadow comp basketball. Uh, it's what the community needs and wants because 2K literally has nothing else to offer. And I, I, I beg to differ with that. But bro, why, why we got to do this with Black Cobra? Hank the Tank, uh, Hank the Tank, grinding DF, uh duke all them other guys uh cash nasty all these other guys that were really good at the game and played how they played but everybody was like you know they're not the best players but they're the most populous they up there nobody ever tried to be like hey man won't you try to come prove yourself in here why because they too big and you know their following will crush you and just like we said we know that the key to doing well in this thing is not necessarily being comp but anyway he just says this is what he just says uh, ba uh not bad but down where he just says hey sim community don't care about that discussion that's what mf's not getting never did those random mf's you see uh on on here posting one clip of a step back and claiming uh they sim nation and talking down on comp they're not really part 
of part of or representation of sim players and i absolutely agree with that man like if you just play the game like most people that we just playing the game just playing the game how it go it is what it is if you're a real sim player if you like or if you're just a straight up player real basic player like me i don't care what nobody else is doing bro and i don't care what nobody else said but that ain't what we here to talk about man because every time this time every year about this time somebody like me della hackled and shackled and uh threw away the key hey we get this right here every single year about this time man and then people talking about hey 2k 16 was the greatest it's the greatest it's the greatest it's the greatest my boy shake down sent me this man uh this is from Tuli hunt so he just said hey the cycle that uh, the cycle that goes on every single year uh even during 2k16 good thing i've been in the community since 14 and i've seen i've seen it all uh been through it all and i know something i mean i know everything will be fine and that's what he just pretty much put up here man he's just showing how people back then were just talking about like even back then they were talking about 2k16 i mean 2k16 was dead uh at, at different points in the year man like it's, it's absolutely insane what people are talking about that's in december that's in december now a lot of people probably thought it was dead back then because the um I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Like the uh, one thing that was ruining the game for me was the was the uh, uh, Jamal Crawford. It would just make you fall on the ground, and there was nothing you could do about it. They just run up Jamal Crawford, Jamal Crawford, Jamal Crawford until you fail, and then some of the speed boosting. But it doesn't matter what it was. Everybody was just talking about 2K. Is this? People have always been this way. They're always gonna say that 2K is dead. The current 2K is always dead. The last 2K was always the best, man. We even got that boy Duke Dennis right here talking about it right here, man. And this is in this is uh two during during 2K20 or whatever like that, man. It's just like, hey, uh, you know, let, let, let us see what he's talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Y'all be lying to all face, dead in all face. Y'all recycle shit every single year. At this point, it's like once y'all get y'all money, y'all could care less about the quality of y'all own video game. And I'm I'm tired of it, bro. Y'all know I love to take up for 2K, but I can't take up for 2K no more, bro. Mm -hmm. Like old dude say, he say, man, y'all ain't even gonna get the same neighborhood. So why y'all tripping? And then when the game drop. It's the same neighborhood. Like, what kind of boring shit is that? <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just real frustrated right now. And y'all ain't even listening to what we saying. So I ain't got no choice but to publicly show my frustration. You know I can I'm dig saying? it. But that ain't even why I made this video, bro. Y'all dropped the Christmas clothes two months early. I don't know how in the hell y'all did that. But they did it, it though. Okay, to do something like that. Y'all dropped the Christmas clothes on Halloween two months early. That ain't the problem. Everybody make mistakes. The, ho Tell the them Christmas the problem, clothes man. say holiday 2018 on them motherfuckers. <laughs> like, how do we, we been new y'all recycle shit. Y'all been doing this for four, five years now. But y'all right. don't even care no more, bro. Y'all ain't even trying to hide the fact that y'all actually recycling these, these motherfuckers. Like, holiday 2018... Come on now, dog. I said all I can dig say this, bro. Mike Wayne, Runny 2K, LD 2K. I, I, I really do like you, LD, but all y'all need to get y'all shit together, bro. Mm. First point. Get y'all shit together. Because mm. if 2K20 ain't already dead, it's going to die within the next week, next month. Oh, so. And uh, yeah, that video did not age well at all, did it? Because uh, this is what he said back in October 16, 2019. And uh, we know that 2K20 is one that y'all be citing as the Holy Grail, just saying this was one of the greatest. Now we already know that it was aided by by what was going on in the world, but in the video didn't age well. It was, I think, I think Duke actually did another video because Fredo was uh back then. Speaking of which, uh, I think uh, Fredo was talking about you know how he's how he has evolve beyond the 2k community and he really don't drop 2k content like that anymore because of how toxic the 2k community is and then you know i think dude was like yeah i mean he, he was calling cap on that and now that he's up there he stopped doing 2k content you know citing similar things or what have you so like i said man everything goes full circle and you can't really say something about what somebody's doing until you walk them out of that man's shoes that's why they always say until you walk them out of somebody's shoes then you know it's, it's hard to speak on you know what they got going but hey it is what it is big shout out to duke man because hey 
he's right, but it, that video didn't age well. But he might have been right completely if it hadn't have been for them, you know, us being locked inside for two years uh, after that. So he, he, he might have been right, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all because that was when they took, uh, I think around that time in October, they were getting ready to take that, uh, the crazy behind the back out of the game the un and, and a lot of the explosive stuff. And then Tendos was in the game. It was so much stuff, man. So he's right about that, man. It probably would have been dead, but uh, the world uh, health organization, they helped a lot of that, man. Hey, that boy Swante was just talking about, man. Hey, we need some more of this stuff right here back in there, like 2K20. Y'all remember big ass and stuff, man, in 2K20? You out there playing, you playing, uh, you, you had like it's stuff like this. It did make the game fun. I don't know why he don't got a big head out there. Pause, but you know what I'm saying? Like, why he don't got the uh, you know, like that. But hey, it is what it is, man. He just says, Hey, I wish 2K would bring back, uh, this is what he said. I wish 2K would bring back these, uh, NBA 2K20. Uh, quick shots, quick stops. I think that you playing against bots though, so that's why I was like that. Quick stops that had uh, that had the one percent of the community uh, that one percent of the community used. Two K twenty was probably the best way to do quick stops. Can't get mad at that, man. Like I said, man, we yeah, it's here. We miss it. We love it. We miss it. We love it. The best two K is always one that's in the past, and the worst two K is always the current one. That's just how the community goes, man. But listen, man, we just wanted to shit. like, like I said, the community has exposed themselves on that, man, and it is absolutely insane. But I, I, I really didn't have nothing to talk about today, so I just figured I'd talk about that stuff, man. Much love to everybody in the community, man. I ain't got no problem with nobody, but hey, I am gonna call it like I see it, and I ain't, I ain't scared to do that because uh, that's how I've been my whole life. So we call it like we see it around here, man. Uh, look out for the podcast should be coming tomorrow make sure y'all like this video we will be playing that call of duty this weekend and i will holler at y'all next time till next time hey it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town Gosh,